Good evening, everybody, and welcome to an awesome matchup in the... Wow, again, I got another. Anyway, welcome to an awesome matchup in the Zelda 1 Randomizer Battle Royale aptly titled Macon Bacon. My name is OPT Lawyer. Joining me on commentary today, Nora Astra. Nora, we have three of our original nine runners left. El Soa, Redbird Grad, and Fury SK. We do. So, a... what is making bacon, you may be asking. Well, this is the uh, brainchild of, oh, the person talking here. Um, yeah, I was really sick of everyone looking for Triforces all the time, so we don't have to... Nine is completely open. The only thing you have to do is find the bow, find the silver arrows, and kill Ganon. And then rescue the princess. Or the kidnapped, whichever it is. And we're off. Easier said than done there, and uh, if you give us a minute, we'll get everything synced up for you. Yes, correct, it is easier said than done, because of course we have the ability for important items to be in level 9, and we have Heart Shuffle on, which of course means that those items could be anywhere. But, uh, we also, oh, we have a red candle. Okay, so everybody who's been in the Swordless Tournament will now, uh, have some fun. Although, as we're finding out here, uh, we also don't have dungeon numbers on. Whatever dungeon that happens to be right there, it also seems to have at least a partial ladder block. Yeah, some crazy evil lawyer came up with that idea. That was me. Just, just straight up, that was, that was me entirely. I don't know where that baby blue dungeon is, I just did. I did too, but, um, so a little bit about the Battle Royale. We are in the final three semifinal here. Uh, winner doesn't really matter as much as not losing. Um, if you come in last place, you do not play next week. That is correct. Well, so we're fighting another dungeon. This one's yellow-ish, and I, I like that one. That's a nice little color. So it is, um first quest shapes, so as they walk through rooms, we'll probably be able to figure out where they're Is El Solo finding himself with the red candle? Again, coming out of the uh, All Boards, No Swords tournament, uh, he'll have a lot more experience with uh, only using that candle. Of course, again, I think all of our runners are in that, so... I do believe so, but, uh... I do believe Fury and Redbird look like they might be in level 8. Is that 8? That could be... Well, if it <laughs> is... <laughs> it's over here, sorry. Well... If that is level 8, then, um... Well, yeah... I was going to say the Triforce is blocked, but we really don't care about the Triforce there. <laughs> no, no, we don't. We don't care at all. And the Fury's about to find is a red candle be like, why didn't I get that earlier? And now, uh, Redbird going back into uh, what we think is level 8. Oh. So, yeah, these seeds are either really, really fast or not as fast. They're not really long, but what do we need in a level 9? Nothing! Level 9 is completely open. You just need to find it. And that lies the trick. 9 can still be, you know, power bracelet blocked, raft blocked, recorder blocked. It's not as likely, but it happens. Right. I was about to say it's also possible for level 9 to have both the bow and silvers in it, but uh, in this instance, not, not a thing we're going to... Okay, so I think we're going on the idea that that was 8. Oh, and that Elso is in 6. And Fury is now joining him in 6. So, the only, only, only reason you would ever pick up a Triforce is if you were thinking, well, I might want to work back to this place with the recorder later. I can think of one other reason, and that's the free health refill. But yes, other than I that, mean, there's you, no yeah. real reason. 
If you really wanted that, I guess. So, um, we've got leaving six, and I don't blame him. Six is kind of long. It had old man uh, uh, bugger in there, and hey, there's some dark nuts in the uh, underworld. So, um, another thing here: uh, enemy groups are completely shuffled. So, uh, Wizards could still be in the overworld, although I haven't seen them yet, and I don't think that's gonna happen. In these scenes, you do need the book to understand the old men, too, which means their hints are going to be completely... Speaking of the recorder! Speaking of the recorder. Yeah, we'll see if that pays off. Um, worst case, maybe uh, also it will give us a little toot to let us hear what uh, music it plays this time. Yes, yes, although that flag is optional, I think it's pretty much on for everybody. I mean, if it's not, you're doing it wrong. Basically. Oh, the keys have more than one hit point. Really more than zero hit points, but definitely more than one. Oh, I saw a... Okay. I saw a, a take any road. I did too. I didn't see where it was going, though. Uh, as we, uh... Oh, well, power bracelet is there on the coast! I have no idea what that is. We'll have to wait for someone to finish to figure that one out, I think. <laughs> I have no I, I had no idea on that one. Although, to be fair, I've had... Uh, most every time I've heard one of these, I've had no real idea what it... What it oh, that's oh. a red ring! A red ring for the white sword item. Not required, but I um, have a feeling if our runners get enough hearts, they'll, they'll go over and grab that. Yo, net theme. Oh my gosh, I I feel really terrible. I didn't recognize that now because I freaking love her. So Elso picking up his silver arrows. So now all of our runners evenly match with the silver arrows. We're looking for a bow. We're looking for level nine, and we may be looking for a ladder. We're looking for a bow. Shocking. Well, you didn't roll this seed, so you know. It could. It really could have just been on the start screen. Those are fast moving. Okay, there we go. Hey, look, arrows. We don't need those. Ah, oh, this might be the second item here in eight. It is. Oh, and it is the ladder. Well, there we go. Look at that. And just like that, Elsoa picking up his ladder. So he's not going to be too worried about. Oh, that's a four heart red ring. Oh my! <laughs> and there is a heart container right above that. I, I mean, where was this seed when I ran in this flag set? Right. So yeah, Noraster and I were actually both in this at one point. I lost last week. There's another. Oh, that's the hit shop we already know about. But unfortunately, without the book, not going to be able to do much with that. Hey, Redbird giving us another look at the uh, any roads here. Uh, one on Death Mountain, one at start. And everyone's favorite White Sword Cave. <laughs> yeah. Well, so about to get the idea that, yeah, well, he can actually pick up the uh, power bracelet there, too. Not a bad idea. While you're here, might as well get it. And he's going to take a shot at the screen scroll here see how that goes for him interesting I've never even thought about doing a screen scroll there and he gets it I have never considered doing that that's interesting so we've got fury in what looks like probably eight Redbird that's going eight, yeah. up the mountain yeah, well, that six. at least Fury's Fury's in the one where we think we we thought it's level eight. No, that can't be because Fury has silvers. That's the You're new right. engine. That is a new. Oh, it looks the same color though. We have not seen. You're it right. That is a new. That is a new dungeon. Okay. 
Well, shoot! Five, maybe? I don't know. Based on where we started. Meanwhile, Redbird is in that level six. I didn't see where Fury entered that at. I didn't either, but we'll get an idea of what, uh... Eh, we have a heart container in here. Well... Not a very fun item. Hey, at, what, four hearts? You take that. Well, especially if you knew that the, uh, red ring was only going to be four hearts. Well, he's already got the red ring, but you take that anyway. Oh, that's right, right yeah. 92, the large secret. Not great. Not horrible. It's not terrible, though. Yeah, it definitely isn't what you're looking for, but... And with the silvers, though, I mean, really about the only thing we're going to buy now is, as Fury is going into the shop right now, to pick up a key. Oh, and Alsoa has found something very interesting. Alsoa has found level 9. He's going to go right in. He actually needs a sword. I forgot to mention, you do need a sword to kill Ganon. Also, this is not the no, no swords tournament. Well, I mean, while you're in here, there are two items. You can go ahead Indeed. and look. One of them might be the bow. One of them might be the white sword. Especially having what very he's true. got right now. Um, so, no, very true. no reason to not poke your head in, map it out, and see what's going on. Absolutely. I didn't see where level 9 was, though. I did not get a good enough glance at it, but um, Redbird now has a heart container when he finds his... Uh, oh! Well, there's Wizrubs in here. Oh, well, that's fun. And also it gets blasted in the face by Wizrub, I believe it was. I heard a shot. I looked up and he was dead. Shots were fired. Shots were fired. He's going back in, though. Fury seeing that blue ring being like, I've got a better one. I mean, I don't disagree with Alsoa here at this point. You know, it's it's an advantage. You've got the silvers. If you stumble into the sword... Oh, I mean, there's... There's oh. Patra. That's a problem. Patra. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's out. I don't blame him. You're right. You're right. I don't disagree with the thought of going into level 9. This fairy picks up his letter, actually. Um, to look around. But when you see that, now it's time to go. 35 yeah. for bombs! Well, let's hope we don't need to buy bombs. Although, with the red ring so openly free, I mean, you're really not going to have mu And arrows already, you're not going to have much call to buy. As Fury has found himself another dungeon. I have no idea where that is. Uh, that one is up in the uh, Armos in Death Mountain. Or by the grave up there. Gotcha, but I don't know what, what it is. Oh, well, that's... Is it two? It's something. That doesn't look like two. Um, could be actually. Well, okay, came in from there. Maybe not. Whatever it is, it's full of wizard robes. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, that's bad. That's probably a ladder block. That's definitely not two. Okay, never mind. So what is that then? I don't know. And um, Red Bird is getting ready to oh! find level nine himself. Now, so uh, unfortunately, getting sniped as Fury finds his wooden sword. He's got a sharp, pointy stick, and he can now hit things with it. That's not a great spot for that sword for our runners tonight. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> While you're not wrong, that red candle is basically giving them most of what they need. Obviously, the bad thing being uh, Wizrobes being in the dungeon. They're immune to fire and basically everything that doesn't explode or stab. Monocle Rock having just some... Uh, as all of our runners are uh, blasting up mountains on one side or another. And right now it's really hard to tell if anyone's really got any sort of lead. Um, I think I'll Redbird's so... the only one that hasn't found level 9. No, Redbird found level 9 just a moment ago. Um... So if you uh, were so if you were to give a... yeah Fury has not seen nine okay and if you were gonna give anyone a lead right now I would consider it Alsoa only on the fact that he's 
got more items than anyone else. He has the ability to get past almost every block. He can get past any block in dungeon, with except for a Goma block. Well, he doesn't and have he a sword get... yet, so he can't deal with well, Patra. Well, yeah. That is true. But he can get past most of the normal things we would call blocks. Uh, hey, there's that other one. Yeah, finally. <laughs> A vanilla letter spot there, holding our last uh, warp road. That is uh, not exactly a great, great uh, take any road over there, but overall, they're not terrible. Oh, with where they started, it's not that bad, actually. Um, not at all. That last one's kind of disappointing, but the rest of them are fine. I, it, it's salvageable. You would take this in any type of race. Oh, yeah! No, I'm not saying you wouldn't. And uh, Redbird actually about to come up on his red ring, and as he's about to find out, he can get it. You better believe that is a happy bird right now. Oh, yeah. El Selma just hasn't made his way over there. Small Secret 17. That is really nice, actually. Oh, Redbird gonna go ahead and grab the potion. I don't blame him, honestly. Uh, considering he now has a red ring, five hearts and a red ring is is pretty good. Especially when you don't have the ladder or don't really feel like spending rupees on it. Yeah, and also, I mean, this, this flag set does tend to lead people into low uh, percent dives into nine, so having that potion and being able to buy keys is, is even a thing. Absolutely. And as we've seen, nine is uh, not too friendly. As El Cell actually bought, buying up some keys here. I think it's the second one. Yeah, he bought two keys there. Um, not a bad purchase. You're not likely to see the any key in this race unless it just falls in someone's lap. So uh, keys are definitely a precious commodity here. As El Cell looks like he's going to go into level six. We're back at a level six, I should say. So we know the recorder's in here. Haven't seen that come into play yet. Oh wait, but also it has it already. What's he? Is the recorder not in six then? He's looking for the heart container, most likely. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not the final race. We eliminate the last place finisher, and then it's down to the final two. It's kind of like the amazing race, if you will. Except for less exotic locations. I'm, I mean, Hyrule's kind of exotic. I, I mean, yes, you're you're not wrong. It is it is very exotic. Those tektites are very exotic. Oh yes, absolutely. And they're beefy too. So Redbird now is this the one we thought was eight? Or is this the uh I actually I don't think know this where Redbird's is the at. One that we don't know. But uh also I did that, find yeah, the heart okay. container in six, so he is out. Uh Fury has finally stumbled into nine. Um decided eh, not really wanting to play in there yet. I mean, I don't blame him. Again, we have way too many not nice things. That's a 36 medium secret, so overall, I like the money in this seat. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not uh, horrible, especially having most of the resources you needed handed to you at the start. Absolutely. I mean, really, everything is way above average except to meet the large secret, which is just a couple below, so... As Redbird grabs that heart container from whichever dungeon that is, I'm still thinking five, but I can't be sure. Yeah, we'll call it five until we figure out it's not five. Right? Which is normally how this goes. Now the other I'll, mark, some, I'll yeah. mark something something and then I'll find that dungeon elsewhere. Be like, oh, wait. Now the other thing our runners have to remember is that 
Um, also, I'm playing the recorder instead of the candle. Uh, <laughs> uh, the other thing our runners do have to remember is even though they've gotten two items out of eight, there is that potential that a third item is still in there. So that might come back into play. Absolutely. Look, he just wanted to serenade the pancakes. There's nothing wrong with this. I mean, they danced a happy jig. They did? Magical sword. Well, hey, it's a magical sword, yes. Hey, there's a raft in whatever dungeon that is. That didn't look like. Actually, that did look like five. I really think that was five. Now that I saw that layout. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm gonna go with yes. Totally five. I'm not convinced yet. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm getting there. Oh, we're checking raft spots immediately. I mean, you start near one. I don't blow. Oh my gosh, a dungeon! Oh, wow. So, for those of you who didn't tune in to Sunday's Boomstick uh, Battle Royale, this is. Also, I found level three, which had the bow on the raft spot. This is one. It is. I'm almost positive this is one. Yeah, this is one. This is absolutely one. Oh, three items in here. Two of them are underground, although unfortunately it looks like El Soa would have to get through a couple of dark nuts. Um, you gotta not be facing the direction when you hit that. Um, ow, okay, ow, 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 yeah, ow, ow, yeah. ow. Hugs, hugs are very bad, too. This Redbird continues uh to dig through five here. Especially, especially hugging traps. Don't hug traps. Traps are not, not a thing to hug. They're spiky. Well, uh, Redbird has grabbed the compass out of level 5. That'll tell him which room he does not need to clear. There you go. See, don't, don't, don't hug the spikes. As Fury is making his way around Death Mountain. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of... Those so squeaks by... Only taking one hit. Okay, this is a dark nut infested dungeon. As Fury has found himself a pink dungeon. And that's level two. And, um. There's uh, the Patra. Yeah, hi, Patra. Patra's in level two. I guess he just, you know, he was. He was sad that he was getting left out of, uh most of this race, so he wanted to, uh, wanted to come by, say hi. That's okay, I guess. He's, he said hi in nine earlier. Can you go back in there? Well, you know, apparently... One being very stingy tonight. Yeah, unfortunately, with all the Dark Nuts, um, Alsoa has no real recourse and no real way to, um, kill them without having a sword or a full complement of which he retries to get his two bombs back and is probably going to try to get some Uh, actually, the book in this matters, because if we find that book, um, we'll actually be able to understand the old men and get hints and whatnot, so... It's entirely a, not a terrible pickup to grab that book. Fury's still making his way through two. I haven't seen any items in here yet. It's also going back into nine, he, or say, one, wow, okay, I'm here. Back into one, he's going to, um, he's got... More bombs now. Unfortunately, the same amount of hearts, so he's got to be careful not getting bopped all over the place. Indeed. He's uh, singeing these mummies quite well. 
Indeed, and this is a drop room. It is Aquamentis' normal room, and... That... I didn't see what that was. That looked like a yellow boomerang. I think it was. That's a one-headed yellow boomerang on the floor. There's another pat. Okay. Game, you are exceeding your Patra quotient for this evening. We had Patras in two. Now you have Patras in one. Clearly had Patras in nine, too. Stop it. Can we get something exotic like a manhandler? Beefy manhandler would be fun. I mean, at this point, right? I mean, it would have to be beefy at this point. Everything else is. Right. Oof. Alright, Elso, about to find out what's inside this room, if anything. Oh, it doesn't push! It doesn't push! It turns out there was nothing there! Not a thing! Is Fury still hunting through too? I have not seen a single item in here. No, I have not either. I've seen a lot of dark nuts though. Yeah, this this is a dark nut heavy underworld sea. But I mean I guess if I had to choose between the dark nuts and the wizards, I would take this, but ew. Oh, hey, Ripper found the magic key. I missed entirely missed where it was. I did too. And he's got his sword now as well. Chat, where was the magic key? Yeah, I completely missed it. I was watching Fury try to kill Dark Nut. Probably undisclosed dungeon number three. Probably. As uh, Redburn is going into, I actually don't. Oh, this is eight. Or at least what we think is eight. I'm pretty sure it's eight. Also, doing the retry again. Is he... Well, he found the boomerang in there, but that's it. Oh, the ar the dungeon in the armless grid. Got it. Okay. Don't know what that is yet. Perfect. So, undisclosed dungeon okay. number three. <laughs> right, yeah. Not to be confused with actual dungeon number three. Right. <laughs> Which it might be. I didn't... I haven't actually seen a map of it yet. Uh, so, unfortunately, you don't have any place to go. Because you haven't picked up many trifles. I'd say at this point, the thing hurting Elso the most is that sword being up on Death Mountain. Absolutely. Yeah, that is going to be a major thing here. Uh, with all those dark nuts. Oh, as we find a dig dogger. Which, I don't think that's a drop room. I'm not entirely certain. I could be wrong at that. That was the one with the shutter door that just opened up because I... That... Whatever. So, well, so now I had a full compliment of heart. Finds a bomb shop for 35 and says, No, thank you. Uh, well, Fury's still inside of level 2. I still haven't seen anything from here. I'm mean, spending quite a bit of time in this too. Um, at this point, you really hope that uh, turns up something decent for him. Wow, he used his red potion here. Ooh, good nice. thing too, he takes a hit. Takes a hit. Would've killed him. He's completely committed to this too at this point. Absolutely. He is out of bombs, so he's chucking away. I don't know, but it looks like these are some pretty beefy blue dark nuts. I can't say I've been counting their health, but... And it's just bombs. Also, a finding level 9. We're going back into level 9. Yeah, I'll say he's just gonna go! Interesting decision here. Do you think he thinks he's behind? 
I think he either thinks he's behind or he can push his advantage here, possibly. Again, he does he, need a sword. All he has to do is find the white sword in nine. If that's the case, then... If it's there, yeah. Yeah, if he finds white sword and bow here in nine, then it's his to, to run away with. Well, oh my, is that Patra right next to Patra? I think I saw a Patra next to Patra. I, I mean, Al it, 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 there's some Patra there. Al Solo was really close to where the red ring was, but never didn't go to. Oh! Well, that was um, a little handsy there. Al Solo is definitely gambling on not needing to go up Death Mountain because I don't think he's been there at all. Otherwise, he would have found his light. His no, his. Uh, sword. Yeah, for the most part, he has stayed on the right side of uh, Hyrule. Um, Redbird is uh, closing in here. He's got his uh, raft as well. So he'll be finding level one here in just a minute, along with his power bracelet and ladder. Indeed. Now... Now that he, with him having the sword, we're probably going to see an actual clear of this dungeon. Now, Al Soa trying to clip through it gets there. What's that's just a transport staircase, but he'll gladly take it because. Oh well, if he doesn't die to the keys or his own fire, there you go. Oh, this nine is going to be beautiful. I can already feel it. Uh, right. Oh, hi, orange wizard robes. I don't think that hit anybody. Okay, well, at least they seem to die in one bomb shot. The heart container, number one item in level nine. And he doesn't get it, and he dies in the key. <laughs> oh, that is oh, just. Oh no. That is oh painful. Yeah. Well, we now know that he doesn't have enough things in here to finish level 9. Because he will either find... I mean, he'll either find, like, the bow, the white sword, or something entirely something entirely different and basically have nothing new to help. Yeah, so at this point he's probably just playing to map 9 out and get that last piece of information of what the, next I the last item is. As uh... Absolutely. Well... Here's the first item we didn't see in level one. And it's a heart container. So we have a yellow boomerang and a heart container hanging out in one. There's one more item left. Fury over here packing up the hearts. I'm not sure where he got them. That might have been the two items in two at this point. Actually, I think you might be right, because I have, he left level 2, I did not see him have anything else. So yeah, it would look like... Yeah, I don't know what Redbird was up to, just just stand on the... Stand there and just... Oh, we're here again and... Get... Elsa has found Ish where Ganon's at, and this room is awful! There's no part of that room that does not suck horribly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah. Not a single part. Oh, we already up eight out of Ganon's room? I missed that one. Okay, so he actually knows exactly where Ganon's at. Got it. So at this point, he's just trying to map out Zelda and find that second item just to have it. He's doing pretty well, considering the absolute lack of uh, sword. No. Again, not surprised. Yeah, with the way these runners handle uh, the swordless tournament, having the red candle. I mean, outside of, you know, your your whiz robes and your dark nuts, you pretty much kill anything. Absolutely. Of course, wizard and, wizard robes and dark nuts being, you know, absolutely 
absolutely prevalent in this seed. I, I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, don't go up there. You don't definitely don't want to go up there, but oof, very close. Gotta be uh, nerve wracking standing next to a keys that just happens to be standing still as you're at uh, half a heart. <laughs> Maybe you forgot this sword. Well, and just um, thankfully we did mention this beforehand. As uh, Fury is in whatever dungeon this is, he's already got a compass for it, so he's clearly been here before. Oh, and it's full of lion holes. Well, I mean, thankfully Red Ring, but oh my gosh. Yeah, absolutely, might as well map it out. It's, it does entirely make sense. It says, if he actually finds the bow in here, it'd be amazing. Well, wherever Fury's at, he's got himself a heart container. Geo says this is probably three, and I haven't seen anything of it yet, but I'm I'm guessing you're probably right. Oh uh, yeah, this this is that that was that mugger room that we saw. Oh yeah. Okay, so this would be three then. So where was it? I completely missed where it. Um, somewhere. Yes, it, it is somewhere. That could, In good Hyrule? call, sir. Indeed it is! Oh, there's that boomerang we saw earlier. Well, that's just not a fun place for Elso to get shuttered into. So basically, because, walking into level 9 describes that. Yeah, so Elso is going... Right there. He's got a decent chunk of it mapped out. He knows exactly where Ganon is. I didn't see if he found where Zelda was, but... THERE'S A WHITE SWORD IN LEVEL 1! Elso was there! He just couldn't clear that room! And Can you imagine... Oh, man. That if... is... That's... If he had just found that then, but he couldn't clear that room because he was out of bombs at that point. My question is, who wants to tell him when this is over? I mean, I'll do it, but I'm used to breaking bad news to people, but, you know. Redbird grads, uh, Chad thinks he's going towards nine. I don't disagree. Yeah, I mean, at, at this point, he's got white sword, ladder, silvers. The only thing he's missing is bow. Might as well. Indeed. Now, we know that one of the items in there is a heart container, but we don't know what the second one is. And are we sure that's level three? Yeah, I think it's three. It's a Oh, ladder. it's seven. I missed it. Did we Did we have that? Or is Energy just saying that? I think he's just saying that. I, I mean, to be fair, I don't know that we've even seen seven. Well, three has the uh, magic boomerang on the ground, which Fury is, uh, picks up. So, Redbird is going into nine with a white sword. And we'll get Redbird's yes. audio up here. So, indeed. So, um, yes, uh, Game Boy, what you have to do is you just have to find the bow and the silvers and uh, kill Ganon. And, and then find the kidnapped. And here at 38 minutes, we're proving that to be more difficult than, you know, you would expect. <laughs> right. So, none of our runners have found the bow yet. What we do know is that here in level 9, uh, one of the two items is a heart Um, Redbird doesn't know that, because he's not found any of them yet. However, we don't know what the second item is. As Fury finds himself in another dungeon. Oh, that's eight. As Elso puts him in... Well, I think this is five. Did we figure this was five? I think we said this one was five. Uh, 
Elsa was still not having his sword yet. Yet being in the same room as one earlier. Unfortunately, yes. Redford tanking a lot of health here. I do believe this was the first item room that Redbird's in now, so he'll be finding his heart it container. And he's got it. So, you've got one left. Meanwhile, Elsoa finding a transport staircase to wherever he's at. It's definitely five, six, uh, seven, or eight. We know where eight is. We know where six is. So it's five or seven. I'm pretty sure it's five. And Redbird playing the odds now that there's more items out in Hyrule still that we don't know that aren't in nine. Right. Well, again, it's a great look. I'm actually surprised he didn't go a little further to find Ganon and Zelda to map out the entire level. I mean, to be fair, I think he saw enough of nine to go. I'm good. Also, it's still burning everything. If you're inviting yourself a fairy, it's timely. Hey, Redbird finding a, the magic sword as well. Fury being the only one of the group who might actually be able to pick it up. That's a 10 to 14 heart spread there. Okay. So I'm nicely getting all of those uh, tectites bought. From Redbird getting that uh, oddly vanilla heart on the uh, candle row. Right. So let's see here. I'm not sure that we saw the second raft spot here, so Redbird's gonna give us our first look, and uh, eh, not much though. Oh. Well, okay then. I mean, what? What were the odds that we get two raft block dungeons? I mean, not good. We haven't found four yet. We have one dungeon, we don't know what it is. At least we haven't marked it that way. I don't know if we figured that out or not. Uh, I know we found two. I'm not actually certain where it is. And we haven't found another one, so... That question mark one is either seven or four. Uh, two is someplace. I didn't catch where. And Fury finding his ladder at eight. And genus is insistent that seven is the play. I think that's irony, but I'm not entirely certain. Meanwhile, Alsoa is... I forget where the other item was in nine or five here, but I know it's obtainable without the sword. Because I think everything in here is killable without a sword. Sword. Oh, that's a forgotten spot. There was something at the forgotten spot. That's three. Alright, that's level three. Got it. Uh, well, they found a dungeon. We're not sure what it is, and I don't remember what it kind of looked like. It's entirely uh, possible we found seven. Our runners have marked it as seven, so I'm going to go ahead and mark it as seven as well. Yeah, if they're saying it's seven, then I... I it's one of those things, it's, it's oddly easier to know if you're playing it, then watch again, I feel. Um, I don't know. So, five doesn't have the book, I don't think. It it's does, because I'll so it just books. picked it up. I did. So, where was the raft, then? Because that was another thing I thought that was in five. Um. Because the answer is yes, I would think. Yes, yeah, so where was the recorder? Oh, Raft was the 
they're saying it's the Rev's the other in like eight. Okay. See, they're both the dungeons are the same color. Well, Fury almost dying there in level one, but he's able to make it. Well, there's our first hint. Well, <laughs> sail out of the water. With the okay, thanks, game. Thank you, game. Now that hint for Alsoa. He is probably going to be like, "Why did I not find that?" He's got zero bombs too. Yes, but he's going to go buy that third hint real quick. Of course he is. Oh, and the good news, you don't have to tell him. And Garia grumbles with the magic key. So that was seven, then. Yeah. So we found the magic key in seven. We don't know the other item. Oh, the, the hitch! I forgot how close these hitch shops were to each other. Gleak returns at the raft. Okay, yep, we got that one. Step over the water, reach the... Okay, the bow is uh, lighter block. Not that that's overly helpful, but it's at least somewhat helpful. And Gleok lurks with the wand. The wand is in four. Well, that information really cuts down our information. There's one item left in four that we don't know. There's one item in seven that we don't know. And one item in nine. Right, because so, we're assuming both items in two are heart containers. Alsoa may... The problem is, now that he knows who that white sword is, he may try to force it out of one, but he has no bombs to kill the dark thrusts that are in the room that it's in. Yeah, this is gonna be painful. As Redbird stumbles into the blue boomerang. Indeed. Certain people would not be happy about that, while other people would be amazingly happy about it, so who? Well, also resets, because he's, again, re probably realizing he doesn't have any bombs. I do believe Redbird is making his first venture up here into Death Mountain, so we'll, uh... See what he does with this. Well, I guess he's been up here somewhat. He found seven. Yep. Um, four is the only dungeon outstanding. Well, we haven't seen the recorder spot, I don't believe. Elso is just entirely convinced to not find the wood sword. Yeah, I... I... And, and I sort of understand that at this point. You know where the white sword is. Why, why bother? But... If you went and got the wood sword, getting the white sword is so much easier. I mean, you're not wrong. Did he ever pick up the red ring? I didn't see. I don't it's believe different he color, did. so he has to. I mean, he's picked up something. It's a different color. Uh, he might have. I we may have missed it. At least I think he's a different color. Well, he's got eight bombs now, so as Fury finds himself a heart container, that's in level three. Pretty sure. Yeah, that appears to be three. Oh, so I was finally gonna go ahead and just jump into Death Mountain up here. Whereas Redbird has found which dungeon is this? Is this three? Um, this might is be that four. four. I think it is four, yeah. That's four. Gotta be, right? Wait. No, that can't be four. That's gotta be seven, isn't it? I mean... Six? Oh, is he? Oh, he oh, he's in six. He hasn't been here yet. Okay. Gotcha. I thought everyone had been in six already, but I'm uh, wrong. Yep, that's six. Oh. That's six. That's definitely six. Okay. It's been so long, I forgot what color it was. Well, 
also blow it open. More caves on Death Mountain. Ooh, Still not by that sword. Eh, he's getting closer. I said eventually. Right. So you do have to imagine when he finds that sword here in, you know, three or four minutes, of, you know, 50 plus, he's not going to be thrilled. I mean... No, he's not, but he's also the one who insisted on, like, going as long as he did without it. As, uh, Redbird's about to find his, uh, recorder. And did we find the floor item here in six? Yeah, we did. It was a hard container. So, Alsoa, hey, is that four? That's really red. That I don't remember really red. Appear to be four. So, well, I'm not sure. Our runners are marking different things that's... on their trackers now. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. So we've got one runner who's got three marked in that spot, and one who's got four marked. Oh, I'm pretty sure the one we've got marked three is actually three. That is, is four. That, that is four. Yep. That's right there. Fury going in this to nine. All of our runners have uh, dipped their toe into nine and have decided not to con if Alsa finds the wand here, he'll probably run to one and just get that get that uh I I mean that's that not the worst decision there. Completely agree. I mean, you wouldn't need the sword at that point, other than to kill Ganon. Well, it helps killing pesky wizards too, but, you know, who's counting them? Redbird, by the way, grabbing our first Triforce of the match. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, mark it, just because. We're it's unnecessary. Indeed. Elf, so it finds so a heart container in the wand is in level four. Not right. what he was hoping to find. Well, that leaves us with two spots left now. That bow is either hanging out in level nine and Fury's in a great spot to snag this, or it's in seven. <laughs> yeah. Which, if it isn't seven, um, you'll have to excuse me as they're going to come try to burn me. Uh, look, I'm just going to tell everybody that Energy, this was in the chat, saying it was in seven the whole time, and blame him for this, because it's clearly not my fault in any way, shape, or form. But also, getting that wad is now headed into level two here. I don't blame him, although he does have the book for the extra fire, but that's not going to help him, or hurt him, then. So as far as we know, there are only two- there are two heart containers inside here. Yeah, unless- and, and it would be crazy to think that Fury knew where Nine was and had the bow out of two, so I, I think we're pretty safe with that assumption. Well, especially considering how many heart containers Fury ended up with. But Alcel is going to be able to clear this pretty much faster because he's got that wand that uh, is one-shotting those orange dark nuts. We also hear Ganon on uh, Fury's side here. I think you're hearing something on Redbirds, but you'll now hear Fury's. Right. That was weird. I could have sworn I heard the whatever. I think Redbird had found a Glia or a Aquaminus that he was dealing with. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, I was watching Fury. <laughs> so It'll get you every time. Indeed. I think also I just grabbed one of the heart containers because I don't remember him having nine. Now he does hear go. the roar of Ganon now. There it is.
So Fury going through level 9. I wonder if he's going to find the other... Remember, we know the bow is ladder blocked. But that's all we know. Now we also know that it's in either 7 or 9 at this point. Now our runners well, don't I mean, necessarily yeah. know that. Right. Ooh, Fury hey, going through... Oh, wow. That is just rude. Yuri going through all sorts of roughness to get that key and get out of there. And you, Only and to be like, yo. Yeah, he's going to potion up here. Definitely. And and you're right. Also, with that wand, is charging straight into one to go figure out where that white sword is, and he wants it. Right. Well, yeah. Somebody in chat mentioning that he has no sword, yet. Once he got the wand, he had no reason to pick up the wooden sword because he knows where the white sword is. He got a hit for it. Or at least he knows it's in here someplace. And he knows this dungeon quite well. He's spent quite a bit of time in, in here. Yeah, he's been in here for quite some time. Meanwhile, Fury looking for that second item inside of level 9. And At this point, it's... Yeah. Transport staircase everywhere. Now, the the really interesting thing here is, is he's going to find his uh, first item here. Is that Asoa and Fury don't have the any key. So that is routing their, their nine very differently than what we'll see from Redbird. It may be much harder for Redbird to find Ganon. Uh, because he won't be taking the stairs, but he will probably have mags. Right. As Redbird is, I believe, now in level 2. Yep. Now he's in level 2. His heart container starts going through the roof. Right. And it's the only pink dungeon we've got. I feel like we've only had about, like, four colors of dungeons today. Yeah, it's been part of the problem. Right. And also getting baited by the fairy in the heart with these dark nuts. Well, I don't believe there was anything in here that was useful. Oh, I mean, there's a key. That is useful to hit. I don't know, I'm kind of hoping for a 100% clear of this seed at this point. Well, which would close. make the... Yeah, which would put the bow in level 7. Because clearly no one's going to dig level 7 before they finish level 9 at this point. I mean, regardless, once they figure out if the bow's in 7, we'll know what's... In, or, or if the bow's in 9, we'll know <laughs> what's in 7. Indeed. So, uh, Fury grabs that... Or, I'm sorry, Alsoa grabs that heart container that he, uh, went to grab... No, that was in 9, never mind. Heck, at this point, do you, do you go try to grab the, the magic sword and just make your first sword magic sword and just be done with it? <laughs> uh, you consider it for sure. I mean, I think you get the, you're going to get the white sword out of here anyway. I mean, there's no reason to not finish this while you're here. Okay, that's that awful case that magical sword is max. Right. Does Fury actually not have the ladder? THERE'S THE BOW! Ladies and gentlemen, the bow is in level 9! It was there all along! You just needed a sword to get it. Indeed you did! So now it's, a. Uh... Race for Fury to, uh, I think he's heard Ganon, so he knows where Ganon is ish. I believe he knows the exact room Ganon's. <laughs> there it is, yep. I don't know if he knows where Zelda's at, though. Alright, so there's, uh, oh, he's got a stun lock going. Three hits, four hits, but he moved! Nope, no more stun lock. There's five, six, got him down! Nicely done, Fury! But there's your bacon. There is bacon. Bacon has been served, ladies and gentlemen. Elsoa does look like he's heading towards nine. 
we've got to find uh, the kidnapped on Fury. So Does look like he's got a pretty good idea of where he's going, though. Is Elso going tonight? I don't... But he does! There it is! Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Fury SK, the winner uh, with an official lesser all time of 59 minutes and 35 seconds. Get your GG. Well done. Uh, Not the bacon, though. The bacon was perfectly cooked. That leaves us with Elso and Redbird Grant. One of these two will be moving on to face Fury next week in the finals. The other will unfortunately be dropping out. And so, so attempts to grab that uh, that magic sword at 10 hearts and does not get it. I'm gonna bet he takes another shot here with the 11th. Great. That would be a no. Yeah. Yep, owned it from Earthbound. Nice. Someone in chat called that earlier. So, Redbird is in level four. He will find a wand and, uh, I believe, a heart. That is correct. Um, Redbird having more than enough to get the magical sword at this point. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, uh... Yeah, because you need... Well, actually, hold on a second. That's, uh, 10... Well, he's got 13. 13. He technically could not have enough for it. Well, he'll find the heart container here, most likely, and be on his way. Indeed, but we are joined by our, our winner of this seed, Fury SK Fury. Congratulations! Um, how's the big? Where in the world were all the keys in the seed outside the nine? Well, seven had the magic key. Yeah, uh, only one person's going to dig that out. Uh, Redbird's got it. Are he's actually had. I uh, know, but he's actually had it for quite some time. Um, but. Uh, yeah, other than that, um, I don't really know. Um, Elsoa's got five of them at the moment, but yeah. He's also having trouble getting the Armos to move. That was interesting. Indeed. So, um, that was an interesting one. We've actually, combined with all of you, we've actually 100% of this seed. In fact, I think most of you have already. Not me, not even close. And nice. I, have, I don't even know where four is at. And then I have an item left in five, two items in six, two items in seven. Uh, I guess oh, maybe, maybe not quite that many items, but still enough to make me concerned. Nice. Yeah, four was, uh, let me see on our map here. Did we actually mark where four was at? We did. It was the, um, it was the screen above level seven. If you have that one marked. It was so one left and one up of the wood sword. Mm, I have it marked off as Warp Zone 3. Mm. Not sure it's that. next to that. Yeah. It's the, uh, yeah, it's because next to the Warp Zone 3 is 2, and then the other side of that is 4. Okay, well, that was mismarked. It's marked as an X, so good thing that wasn't needed. Yeah, four had the wand in another heart container. Which, by the way, you look pretty healthy this seed. Yeah, I tried mags at 10, didn't work. I could have gone back at 12, but once you have the white sword, it's just like, eh. What? I, I mean, you look healthy, but Redbird's running around with nearly all the hearts. Yeah, he's got, was it 16 now? Or 14 now? That's going to take some people some time to find that bow, man. That was... Bomb wall through key doors. <laughs> right. Know, to the side of Zelda's actual room. Man. Yeah, I didn't know. Though. Right. Yeah, I didn't notice it earlier, but uh, after you beat Ganon, uh, and I realized you were you had a clear beeline, you obviously felt, figured out where she was. Um, I hadn't noticed the door that didn't open, though, so... 
nicely done on that. Yeah, it was a wall master room. I killed them all and then did, did budge. And I took that staircase and heard Ganon. After I killed that Patra, I was sore the door because I knew where he was. And then just took the staircase down to five. Staircase number six kind of took you one room, two rooms south of the bow. So I took that back up and I think it was just a key door up, perhaps. And you had Zelda all those rooms, so then you had to bomb to the left and go up. And that was it. And Redbird confirming that the item in seven is the heart container. So we know where everything is now. Yes, we do. So, I don't know, I think Redbird is now 100% certain that that item is in 9, although maybe I'm wrong. Oh, so, Fury, next week you've got one of these two left for the uh, the championship of this flag set. What do you think about it? So As we're nearing the end of it. You know, it's, it's now the wild goose chase. Some days it can be really short, and other days it can be like this, where runners are running around for quite some time. Right. Alright, Redbird has gone back into level 9. Uh, so, I mean, at this point, he's got everything you could want to go into level 9. Correct. Except about. So, right, so Al Stella was actually... Uh, Al Stella attempted to do this seed swordless for quite some time. Like, almost 50 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, I had the Red Campbell for, I think, about 20 of it. It took me a while to kind of work my way up there past uh, Gravestone and that sort of stuff. But yeah. I don't think he's ever actually found the, um, the wooden sword. I don't know if he walked in there or not, but uh, it took him... He got about 50 minutes in, found the uh, found level 4, he knew the wand was in there, he had the hint that the white sword was in 1, so when he finally got the wand, he went back into 1, and uh, grabbed that white sword. Un unfortunately for him, uh, he um, he was in that room before and ran out of bombs to kill the Dark Nuts. Yeah, there's a lot of Dark Nut combat in that seed. I had to... I think my first potion basically was just to clear Dark Nuts to see what was in Yes, it was. Yeah, uh, in level two. Yeah, I remember that. We mentioned that. It was down to three rooms, and of course it was a bomb pack instead of what I wanted. <laughs> right. What I wanted, it was actually just a hard container, so it really wasn't what I wanted, but... <laughs> right. Yeah, a lot of hard containers in this one. But it is what happens when you have to actually dig a lot of dungeons, as uh, both Elso and Redbird have uh, have done. It'd have been nice to find the book too, but didn't find that either. That was in five, and I want to say it was the ladder block. I do believe it was. It was also on the ground, though, so you would have been able right. to see it very easily. Doubt I would have had the ladder out of eight at that point. I got the ladder pretty late, so I was never going to see that. So he's looking through three. He's about to get the news that the blue boomerang is actually the thing in level three. Required bomb or key room two. Yeah. So he has one key coming out of level three. I think I got four key drops in level nine, so it's doable to get through level nine if he goes in there with just one. I would probably. just depends on how much of level 9 he's looked at yet. He's got through a decent amount of it, actually. Got okay. as far as one really could without a sword, except I don't know if he needed a sword to get to the bow or not, but he needed a lot of resources, regardless. Yeah, he, I believe I believe also was the first one into 9. He was. He's definitely the first one who dug it. I went into 9, saw the ladder block, saw the Patra, and said, heck no, I'm leaving. And came back when I had the ladder. So 
So you guys basically knew the bow was in nine by the time I found it. No, it was that or the last item in seven. Oh. The only hit we had was that the bow was ladder blocked. Yeah, I can't confirm that was ladder blocked. But, uh, but yeah, but that could have been like either one of these, so. But yeah, no, we weren't 100% certain at all. So when you found it, we were excited. Because it was yeah, new. I'm guessing, it, well, it must have been just 50 50, but man. It was a 16% chance for me that it was going to be it. So it was really scary digging all nine for the second time after finding a hard container. Really early. I would right. say it's probably the third. Is it after the third set of staircases or after the fourth? So, Alsoa is looking through Death Mountain. I'm not exactly sure what for. That's always oh, going back in the. No, that's two. Can you not get both heart containers out of two? That's not enough. He doesn't have it marked, so that doesn't look like he got him. I think one hard container was in the very south tip, and the other one was in the very north, so that'll be a fun one. He's he is dancing with the Dark Nuts right now, and they're dancing back. Right. So felt like they had more health than normal. They felt beefy. Am I wrong on that, or...? Uh... Blue Dark Nuts were either 9 or 10, I think, so I would think they're about even, of course. Not too beefy, but maybe just a little bit. Right. So is taking out this patch in level 2! Uh, unfortunately, taking a hit there. Hey, uh, patch is taking out Alsoa here. Oh, he found Zelda's room, just not actually where Zelda's at in level nine. Well, must mean he's close. This time, Elsa so is just gonna be like, you know what, Patrick? I'll come back if I have to. I think Redbird's already yep, he's already got that heart container because he's skipping past that staircase. Yeah, we're getting the full tour of nine here. It's a very scenic level nine. Yeah, so the real main difference here is Redbird with the any key um, versus Fury without is, is not caring so much about the the key doors. Where I know uh, Fury, when you were going through, you were very mindful of those um, key doors and tried to avoid them. Yeah, it's really scary to burn your last key in nine, so you try to limit it. But once I got to six staircases, I just threw caution to the wind. Because at that point, you're probably not going to have too much more else to clear in the place. So as well, at that point, you can mid that. Well, there it is. Redbird has the bow, and Alsoa has found the wood sword. Hey, there you go! So, that bow in hand, uh, Redbird's gonna go ahead. He knows exactly where Ganon is. I don't know if he knows where Zelda's at, though. And Redbird, being one of the probably best Ganon fighters here, will uh, make quick work of the pig. Oh, he's got a stun lock. Oh, he lost it! He had it, and he doesn't have it anymore. There we go. There. There we go. There's our second batch of bacon for the day. Ah, I love bacon. So, Redbird grabbing that Triforce of Power. He's out of here. He looks like he knows exactly where he's going, too. Never mind. Okay, so. Apparently, he found the room as well. No, no, wait. Never mind. Maybe there's another way there. 
Hey, right, nope, nope, there we go. Okay, there we go. Down the wrong staircase. <laughs> right, okay, that's all it was. Got it, all right. You know, he knows exactly where he's going, yep. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, put your GGs in the chat for Redburn Grad, finishing in second place with an official SRL time of 1 hour 14 minutes and 21 seconds. That leaves us with Fury, or Elso. Fury, you and Redbird grind next week. Yeah. Who has. Uh, he knocked me from winner's bracket to loser's bracket in the last tournament, so we'll come back Ooh. and pay back now. Well, he's in the chat with us right here. Redbird, congratulations. How are you feeling? Can't hear you if you're talking. Still nothing. There we go. Are, are we better now? Yes! <laughs> I said if you want to know where every single item in the game is, I can hook you up. Oh, well, what we do, actually. Thank you very much. <laughs> Man, that was a lot of fun. GG's Fury. GG. So, um... So, your thoughts on this, um... Wild Goose Chase? Yeah, that's probably uh, an apt name for it because I took every wild goose chase I could. Um, with that raft took me over to level one, I'm sitting here thinking, oh my god, this is it. I mean, the bow's going to be here. We found Silver's Swordless. I was feeling really good about that until the dive into nine, found the heart container, and I bounced when I shouldn't have. Um, but I guess it armed me for the rest of the game because I got everything else and was able to come back to nine and just fly through it. But um, yeah, it was it was a weird weird seed. Yeah, um, everybody got pretty healthy in this one. <laughs> That's for sure. Fury, how'd you take it out? I'm I'm really interested to see how you did it. The seed itself. Yeah, for sure. I mean, did you do most of it, or did you just kind of stay in nine once you decided to go there and? Uh, first dip into nine. I was ladder blocked into patcher blocked and noped, so went and cleared some dungeons. Never found four because apparently I mismarked it, so that actually helped me, I guess. Uh, noped five, noped six, noped seven. Just cleared one, two, three, and eight. And then, and then I think basically if you started taking staircases in nine one led you to two within two rooms two led you to three in zelda's room within three rooms three led you to four four showed you where ganon was if you went back through because it was kind of a dumb one you could could get back to staircase five which led you to the heart container side six went nowhere so once you saw zelda's room and bomb left it was there that really turned that nine into like a 30 room nine instead of a 57 room yeah, I'm looking at how many rooms I didn't do, and I think there's only eight left on my map that I did not do. Um, I did quite a few of them, and I think I probably took the stairs in a different order than you, because um, my six was the one that eventually did it, and I ran out of bombs. When I needed a bomb left to get to the silvers, I ran out of bombs there, and luckily I was able to get some bombs down south or out of left nine looking to buy bombs. Yep, I was stuck on seven because I had to pay the toll to go get my magic boomer. Oh, that's right. right, yeah. And also, yeah. Uh, taking a moment to fix his file name after finding the item in 7, being the heart container. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I put that off as long as possible, but what made me go back to 7 before 9 was because we found the, or I found the floor item very quickly. So I knew all I had to do was dig the um, item item, which is a whole lot easier than the floor item in seven. So I was like, okay, I'll just go do it. And it was the anti key, which ended up helping out, so. Yeah, I looked at, basically nobody was done. And yeah, I kind of meted that you were in there at some point and you weren't done, so probably wasn't gonna be there. So it was down to, I think five and six were both ladder blocked and nine. I said, well, Good chance that if it's a nine behind keys somewhere, it's going to be kind of hard and silly to get to, so I'll take my chance there first. Just want to point out that it you 
that uh, El Sol with 15 hearts was able to pick up the magic sword. Because I don't think it was picked up at 13. <laughs> I, I take it back. I didn't 100% because I did not go pick that up. So my bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'd, this one heart container that we haven't... Oh, actually, you know what? That's the one that Elso was grabbing in 9 and died on the keys. Oh, he has know. actually 100% of the seed. Yes, he ha Well, he doesn't have the any key. Oh, that's right. He doesn't have the any key. So he's going to have to make sure he gets through his keys here. But uh, he is Wait. going... To just Wait, he didn't pick that up. No, he, he didn't pick that up out of seven. He got almost all the way through seven and managed to avoid the any key. But he's going to pick this. Oh, no, this is in the heart container. That's not the heart. Container. Yeah, the any key was like four rooms in. If you went south right away, it was right there on the floor. He had almost the entire the entirety of seven mapped out and no any key. Well, he does have the hit about being ladder blocked, so. He must realize that there's no ladder block in seven. You know what? What were the hints like? Because I almost went back to five to pick up the book once I got the ladder to buy hints. Were there any? Uh, well, just there was a step over the water to find the bow. Um, there was two sail to find the white sword and the boomerang. So if you didn't know one or a, a dungeon was on the raft spot, you could find that. But all of you found it regardless. So. And then the, the um, one that was really big for Also was the wand in four. Yeah. Yeah, apparently Also thought this was an all boards, no sword seed for a while or something. <laughs> he did not pick up the sword until I wanted to say 50 minutes in. I was a good 30 and I'm like, you know, I should probably go get that thing. <laughs> yeah, he he didn't go. He, he found the wooden sword cave like after sometime after fury fit it was about the time you were going uh you found silvers about the time he found the uh wood sword cave redbird uh, the bow or the bow sorry yeah, yeah it's it, nuts yeah well i mean he went a very 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 long time with that red candle a very long time to be fair though had he had about three more bombs, he would have had the white sword out of one before anyone else. Absolutely. Yeah, he was in the room with the white sword. He ran out of bombs trying to kill the dark nuts inside. Yeah, to be fair, though, this seed really gave you enough to play it swordless for quite some time, because that red Absolutely. ring was super, super free. And so oh, was yeah. Candle. Yeah, that red ring, um, I don't remember how many hearts you had when you picked it up, Fury, but it was it a was four, four heart. Yep, I had four. That was right, okay, yeah. That's right, I think you were the first one to grab it. Yeah, that that was, that's like the dream right there. And if you didn't have a heart container, there was one all of two screens to the north of it. Yep, that's where I picked mine up at. Nice. Yeah, it really was red ring, red candle is real easy to just fly through a lot of those dungeons. And it was, the dungeons were conveniently, except for the dark net ones, like two in those, but um, there was a lot of combat too. Like, I was surprised that there were so many blue darknet rooms that when I approached them, I hadn't found the floor item yet. I had to clear out a ton of them. I had to burn a potion in two just to get a pack of bombs from the darknet. Yeah, it was it was very darknet intensive in the middle of the scene. Definitely, definitely looked like it. Well, uh, Osoa, uh, unfortunately, uh, has, I think, enough keys to get where he needs to go, but it has no bombs in level 9. And I'm pretty sure you needed at least a few of those to get to the staircase with the bomb. Yes, you did. It's actually, you need one bomb if you do it the right way. <laughs> but, I mean, you're, there's no way you're just going to automatically pick the way to go, but yeah, it's only one. Yeah, not surprising to see what just went down in IRC. I, I did the same thing. This this was a weird seed, rough one. Yeah, well, um, just want to see where he decided. Okay, right there. Yeah, well, ladies and gentlemen, Elsoa has uh decided 
to call it for the evening. Getting understandable. I get the feeling he's probably not going to want to join us in here. So, Redbird, I'm going to ask you one of the same things I asked Fury. Um, these flags, what do you think? I love them, but you can see how absolutely volatile they are. We were talking about this before we jumped into it tonight. Like, you can... And maybe Fury approaches it differently than I do. You can game plan for a lot of people, I think, with these flags, and you can play it safe and that type of thing and just have good combat and get through. But once it gets down to two or three, I mean, you really have to make very good decisions, and Fury's very good at that, which this doesn't surprise me. He's going to win this whole thing. Um, but you got to make very good decisions, and there's a lot of probability at play. Like, I, I went into nine today, and I got a heart container. And I'm like, okay, there's like seven items outside of nine and one inside. So I've got a 12% chance that my bow's there. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave nine, which is the correct play probability wise. But with these flags, you could be spending a lot of time chasing your tail somewhere and it's the wrong thing to do. So, um, if you're going to go off the beaten path, you have to do it very efficiently. Otherwise you're sunk. Yeah. This one's just about. Do you gamble? When do you gamble? Because once you gamble, if you're wrong, it's over, pretty much, if you don't find something really useful. So you just got to pick and choose your moments, or you can play it kind of safer and kind of clear everything out. And once you clear everything out, you can get through the seed really quickly. But that's, that's kind of the decision that I have to make next week now, is do I play it a little bit safer, or do I gamble, or do I just get really lucky and find what I need early? I don't, there's nothing you're doing is luck. I mean, I, I hate that word when we talk about Rando and everybody uses it, but nothing you're doing is luck. I, I tell you that. Um, yeah, it, it's picking when to gamble, just like you said, though, because you're making educated guesses, but it's based on the history of these flags and what you've seen and what you've done. And yeah, there's probability of play, but um, there's smart gambles and there's bad ones. And I, the, the hard part about playing you, Fury, is that you always make the smart ones. And it's, it's very, very tough to play you. Mm. Lead eight flags. I still remember that beat down. So sometimes I make smart decisions. Some other times <laughs> I, I mean, make, we, we all, yeah, I make we a all. routing choice that really doesn't work. So, but that's really <laughs> what I mean by luck is if you route a specific direction and you find, say, level four for one of these seeds and you find both items you need to go to level nine to win, then that's a little bit of good fortune on top of your good routing. That's at least in some ways. For sure. Okay. For sure. Yep. And with that, we do have also in here, GG also, you will be getting points here uh, for the Tournament of Champions, but um, tough break there at the end. Like I said in the IRC, three of my past four seeds have been the same thing with literally just different packaging. Bo decided not to exist ever. It was not in a fun spot. Funny thing is, I dug nine twice looking for it. Yes, you did. You got really far without a sword. My goodness, that was interesting to watch. I mean, when the game gives you permanent combat early, it's like, okay, well, I'm just going to take this and run with it, I guess. And and you did. You uh, you found the wood sword as uh, Redbird was picking up the bow in 9. Yeah, I mean, I kind of figured that White Sword was going to be somewhere. I was hoping to pick that up. Or once I started getting to my ninth heart, I'm like, okay, I'll just pick up eggs. Right? That's what I said at one point. I'm like, okay, he's just going to grab as many heart containers as he can. Makes his first sword magic sword just be done with it? Nearly. I did get sniped in the heart container room in nine, so that was yeah. what made me leave the second time. Yeah, it's doobie bat. I guess I used up all my luck earlier. I'm just going to say that. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're 3-0 and in the Swordless, so... Right. That's where I used my luck. Got, <laughs> you got all the Swordless skills, just when it comes to pointy objects, it's just a little unlucky. Hey. So, I'm either getting a bow or I'm getting a sword. Oh, I gotta pick one. <laughs> I guess. Right. Goodness. Yeah, All so, right. Well, so um, with that, uh, Redbird and Fury will be playing again next Tuesday, same time, 8 p.m. Eastern. We'll kick that off for the finals of the Macon Bacon Tournament.
Yay! You know, yes. I'm gonna chuckle if me and Also in the three O bracket match up next week, and then I face Redberg Red, my Battle Royale. That'd be <laughs> that'd be fantastic. I, I, I'm not rooting for that for sure. Right. <laughs> So with that, as I guess... nervous as I should be rooting for that, I kind of want to see it anyway. Oh, I mean, we all <laughs> want to see that. <laughs> Absolutely. So we uh, we do have another match coming up here. We do have one of the all all boards no swords matches coming up right here on Random Mania here in about thirty minutes. So um, let's go ahead and start wrapping up for the night. Um, we'll start with Alsoa. Um, on your way out of this battle royale. Um, Final thoughts and comments, flag set and or battle royales. Battle royales are an absolutely amazing thing. Uh, honestly, this flag set is really well constructed. Uh, just sometimes if your luck is really bad, it feels like you're doing an H I four seat anyway. Right. But I love the concept of it. And honestly, that's the one thing a lot of these about a lot of these battle royales. Even if the flags turn out to be uh, interesting in execution, a lot of the concepts are really, really fun. Yeah, the battle royale system in general is just awesome, and it's um, it's definitely a great uh, fill gap in between the tournaments. And really, just because you can just make anything you want, and if other people want to play it with you like it's what happened here um then you get to kind of run a tournament on it. it's fun i like it and i'm glad i'm glad people have enjoyed this for what it was intended to be something that you know isn't as serious as other ones but is still fun to run at least i hope that's what people think also having a consistent time slot is sometimes helpful oh yeah absolutely All right, so anyone else with any final thoughts before we kick it out of here? I just want to say thank you very much for you guys calling the match and um, Random Mania for hosting it. And I'm not sure who's tracking and whatnot, but the whole crew, I mean, you guys rock for awesome. you know, taking your nap to do it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and then Fury and Alsoa, GG's. I mean, we have we have a great group in this battle royale, like as we are talking about before, like all 10 of us that started this thing. And it was a blast like this whole time. And it's coming down to, to me and Fury, but any one of us could have won it. So um, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun going forward this next week. But uh, I've had a blast with this, this group of guys for sure. Awesome. Fury, you get the last word. I mean, it's just thanks again for the restream and all the work done towards it. And good luck to Redbird Grad the finals. And also maybe see you again over on the other side on the other. You're totally referencing other battle royales. Yeah, totally. Not the all boards swords tournament thing. Anyway. <laughs> Awesome. All right, guys. Well, as I said, we've got another match right here on Randomania in a half hour. But right now, over on Randomania 3, Maligord and Sausage Link are in the middle of their tournament match. And we're going to go raid them. So let's hop over on over to Randomania 3. Noraystra, anything left? No, just remember, tune in next Sunday on Randomania for the boomstick uh final that'll be or not the final but uh semi-final that'll be at 8 p.m and then again next week same time here for this final indeed and for everybody here in the random mania networks um thank you all for watching and y'all have a wonderful evening good night everybody